Hello and welcome back to my channel. All right, so we have a pretty long video here. This is the full in-depth uh, overview of the application of the X1 Omni and the little guy, the X1 Plus. Now, stick around. It's a pretty long video. There's a lot to go over. So grab your favorite friend, your favorite child, your pet, uh, some popcorn, your juice box, and let's get started. Now, before we begin, this thing's driving me crazy. Either that lid should be closed or up. So let's go ahead and take care of that really quick. Um, I got this book here, so let's see what happens. There we go. Problem solved. All right. So I got the screen recording going. You can see it over there and we're good to go. Now, when you get these robots out of the box, you have to download an application to get the most use out of it. Now, this is through Ecovacs, so it's called the Ecovacs Home. Once you download the application, either using an iOS device or an Android device, you will be agree with the main menu, which allows you to create username and password. Now, if you ever set up a smart device, a smart TV, a laptop, you should be pretty familiar with how to set up your home network, all that fun jazz. Keep in mind, both these guys only use the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks, no fancy 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band, so sorry, only 2.4 gigahertz. Okay, so you can see this is the main interface. Off to right there, I have the Vacuum Ninja, that's right name this guy, and of course the little guy is called Vacuum Ninja LT or Light. Now, I do have a third device, which is the Admobot. Ecovacs does have some unique robots, so check out the website. Uh, you can see some unique robots beyond robot vacuums. Okay, so since the Omni X1 has the most features, we'll use this guy as the demonstration, but the LT does have a lot of the features that the Omni has. Now, you can see that the interface, there's a lot of features right after that. You have this little icon that has a Y icon. You got the name of the robot. Also, you got the status of the robot. And of course, you can start the robot. You can tell it to recharge. And there's a couple additional icons. Entering smart cleaning, which allows you to basically enter the mapping process. You can enter the settings in that feature. And lastly, you got to enter video manager. Yes, this guy can do video calling one way. You can do two-way audio. Um, also can patrol your house, take pictures, take videos. Sound a little creepy? Yep, this guy definitely knows everything about you. Even can map out your floor plan. But don't worry guys, there's some features where you can disable if you find that a little too invasive. Alright, let's just go and just jump into it. Uh, I think the most important thing or the coolest feature is the little Y icon. That's the onboard voice assistant. So, these guys actually have the first onboard voice assistant of any of the well, vacuums I've tested. Okay, you go. Clean around the fridge. Okay, start furniture area cleaning. Thank you, buddy. I better hide this evidence. Now, what's unique about this voice assistant is the fact that it doesn't require a third-party device. It actually works with the robots, and it works extremely well. It's very reliable, haven't had any connectivity issues, and personally, I've been using this every other day to start these robot vacuums without ever having to pull out my smartphone. Okay, so if we scroll down here, there's some great videos if you're new to the voice system. It kind of walks you through how to start it, stop it, uh, some of the different commands. And like I said, it works uh, pretty well. So let's just jump into the voice assistant and you can see what commands you can say, uh, the wake up word. And if you have any problems, you can let Ecovacs know. There's actually, you can type it out and they'll actually respond back to you, which I haven't tried out, but I hope it works pretty well. So if you guys tried out this help center thing, let me know if it actually works, if they respond. But right now I haven't tried out that. Okay, let's just jump back into here. Now, let's just jump into the main menu and then eventually I'll get to the video manager, which offers a lot of cool features if you like that video surveillance uh, option. Okay, so if you ever had a robot vacuum, uh, you can see it has a main map. Now, a lot of these hiring robot vacuums offer a lot of features beyond just mapping. They offer 3D mapping. They offer some interesting features like being able to schedule out a specific room to clean. You can also tell it to do it rooms by room and in which order. Of course, you can add different vacuum levels, power levels to each room, even mopping levels, which gets kind of crazy, takes some time to set up everything. But once you set up everything, it is really nice. Okay, so let's just go and zoom in here. Um, I'll show you the map. Now, this is where we're at. You can see the location of the robot right up there. Uh, and I label the kitchen. We are in the kitchen area. Now, this isn't anything new. The map is colored, coded 
to represent different rooms. And this is what you do in the map editing, which is in the bottom left corner there. It's called map, map management, which is kind of interesting. Why would you call it map, map management? But that's what they call it. Now, beyond the map, you have some settings off to the right. You actually have the actual settings, which allows you to change the voice of the robot, the language of the robot, the volume. Um, you have the little video icon right there, which allows you to stream the video, either if the robot's cleaning or you want to do a home patrol. And of course, you have 3D mapping, which I'll show you in a second. And this other little icon, which allows you to do some additional stuff. So let's just jump into the settings. Top right corner. Okay, so once we get in settings, you can activate the voice assistant, which I just showed you. Very similar uh, thing in the beginning of the video. Uh, same interface. Now you have a cleaning log, which is very interesting. Unlike just having the history of where the robot's cleaned, how long it took, the map of the robot, you also can see um, the time or the from, like the date, which is very handy. I actually tested some robots, which actually doesn't give you the date of when it actually cleaned, which is kind of useless. Which so glad that Ecovacs provided that. Okay, now since these are advanced robots, you actually have video manager. So yes, you can actually see where when it patrols your home and the points of interest. We zoom in here so you guys can see that. Or maybe not, maybe I can't zoom in. All right. Here's the home patrol. Uh, the little dots represents the uh, areas that the robot went to. And of course, if you enable it, you can actually see the uh, photos it took. Um, it's kind of cool that it takes uh, different angles or different uh, scenes. And it's all done automatically. So yes, if you want to check up on your home when you're away, uh, this is kind of a cool uh, feature. Now, I don't think there's motion. So let's say someone actually breaks in and the robot just sitting on stock. Unfortunately, it won't uh, activate the recording feature. So you can see it can be a useless feature since it's not actively uh, detecting motion. Okay, so let's just jump back into the main menu here. Now, you do have a 3D uh, mapping. Uh, basically, a lot of these newer robots like the SM Max V Ultra, uh, the X1, um, I think there's a couple other that I can't think of off the top of my head, allows you to create a 3D map of your floor plan. Now, let's just zoom in here. If I can do this, you can see I can rotate the map. Um, I can zoom in. And right now, we're currently in the kitchen. So this is my... Uh, off to the that way, you can see is my uh, refrigerator, and of course I have a table right there. Now, unfortunately, I can't add trash cans, which I probably would have added trash cans right there. But it's pretty detailed. Offers a lot of uh, cool furniture you can add by hand. Task complete. All right, let's check out the furniture. So here's where you can actually edit the furniture. Um, you can click on it. You can uh, have it clean that area, uh, which is really handy. A uh, very interesting way of being able to clean around furniture without basically telling or trying to figure out where that furniture is. So in this area is where you can edit the furniture. Uh, for example, if I wanted to um, move the bed over, I can do that. Uh, I can size it to small, compact, very nice. So that's how you can um, edit furniture. You can rotate the furniture as well. But keep in mind, it only gives you a handful of furniture. Uh, there's some that I kind of scratched my head on, kind of wishing they had. Or maybe down the road, you could take a picture of your furniture and be able to add it as your own furniture. That'd be a nice little uh, feature. Okay, so that was just the 3D mapping. Um, not sure how useful it is, but it's just a cool little effect. Now let's just go into this little uh, three little uh, little layer icon here, and this allows you to add layers. So for example, maybe you find that the map is too busy, you want to remove some of this stuff. You have the option to do so. So now the app is just pretty basic. Uh, might be a little bit easier for people just to focus on the map itself and not have the extras. But of course, you can layer in uh, different stuff if you would like. All right, but for me, I like to have everything enabled. Okay, so now we're getting down to the bottom. Uh, we have area, so this allows you to clean specific rooms. We have auto, which will clean each room in order. So if you set up, let's say, the kitchen, the bathroom, the master bathroom, in that order, it will clean that order in the auto mode. And of course, you have custom. 
Now, custom just basically allows you to create a rectangle or a square and you can clean that area. Now, you're probably asking, how do I have it set to multiple times? So maybe I want to clean that area more than once. Well, let me show you. Now, there's a hidden little trick. You swipe up from this little bottom there and that's where you can have it clean once, you can have it clean twice. You can also have it do standard cleaning or customized cleaning where, again, you can have it clean by uh, the room order you choose. Here's the vacuum levels. You have four different vacuum levels and you have three different wire levels. Both of these have the same uh, features. There's that cleaning sequence where you can uh, have it clean a specific room in order. You can do one, you can do two, do the master bathroom, three, the kids area, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so uh, language. And again, this jumps back into the more settings um, and you can change different settings. Now, let's just dive back into the settings real quick. We talked about the voice system. We talked about the cleaning logs. Now, part of accessories, um, as you run these robots, you do have to replace the accessories. Uh, the side brushes, the extractor bar, the filters, even the dust bags, I do recommend replacing when the robot does tell you to replace them, just so it prolongs the life of the robot. And the accessories are pretty cheap to uh, buy, either through Ecovax or through Amazon. But as you can see, like for example, the washable mopping pads, um, they will tell you how long they should last and when you need to replace them. And it's kind of nice they tell you how to uh, install the accessories. So like the main brush kind of walks through it. According to ghack.net, just select the application or multiple apps and activate the install button afterwards. Thank you for the interruption. Yeah, sometimes when I film, I get an interruption to my voice assistant, to the wife, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, let's just uh, go back here. Now, um, we checked out that. We'll just jump back into uh, the main screen here. So the last thing I want to talk about, actually there's two more things, is the map management or map map manager. That's what they call it, kind of interesting. This is where you can create your new map. Uh, one nice thing that Ecospax has done in a long time is be able to do uh, quick mapping. So. Uh, for example, you don't want to wait a couple hours for it to clean the entire home. You can just have it go out and clean uh, or map out your floor plan without cleaning. Now, the benefit of that is the fact that um, if you have obstacles or troublesome spots, the robot usually won't get hung up since it's just kind of going around and mapping out your floor plan. Okay, but of course, you have the option to map out your entire floor plan by cleaning the entire job as well. Okay, so you can add a room. You can, uh, I'm sorry, you can uh, edit the map. Add a map, delete a map, up to I believe three. Now, one question I get is once you create a map, can you add new rooms? Unfortunately, you cannot do that right now. You have to create a whole new map uh, if you want to add a new section or delete a new section. Now, keep in mind, I do recommend opening up all the doors while doing your first map so the robot can have access to all the rooms. Okay, so the last thing is the dock. Now, depending on what dock you get, the plus dock or you get the uh, turbo dock or even the army dock, you can have different features. So for the plus dock, you just have self-emptying. So you have some features just for the self-emptying. But since the army has both self-washing and self-emptying, you actually have a few settings. You can uh, empty out right now. You can either uh, clean the mopping pads. And since this does have a drying feature, you can actually dry and set a specific time how long to dry. Usually it takes about four hours to fully dry the mopping pad. So that's a nice feature. Okay, so let's just jump into one more thing. I'm gonna talk about the video management. That's the last thing. And then I believe that's everything I covered for the application. So we'll just jump right into it. And I have to go into full screen for this. Recording started. Now, what's interesting, there's actually two sections of this. There's the video management, which allows you to do video patrolling, audio calling, and um, a couple other things. But this is just the video uh, kind of like live feature. So you could actually uh, shrink this down. So if you want to watch what the robot's doing while it's cleaning, that's an option. Kind of wish that the uh, preview is a little bit larger. It's kind of small, kind of wish you could resize it, but that's what we have for now. Now, if we jump back into it, um, you can see there's not a lot to do on this main screen. So if you want to access all the video features, go to the video management section, which is in the bottom right corner here. And I don't really like the fact that it kind of forces you to do like uh, 
a uh, right screen and it looks like my device froze so hold on one second yep technical difficulties you can see live on camera my device crashed so bear with me i'll restart the application um usually the application is pretty solid but you can see sometimes you have the occasional crashes all right we jump into video management and again it forces you in that landscape mode takes a few seconds to uh, work. Now I am using Wi-Fi, but over cellular it does work as well. But the video quality and the, uh, what do you call it, the smoothness of the video may not be a little choppy. So just uh, keep that in mind. Um, we're waiting here. Hopefully my network didn't decide to die on me. Usually I've been having some Wi-Fi issues because I have a lot of devices connected. All right, let's try this again. So you can see if it's not connecting, you can see. Hello, recording started. All right, so it works. Okay, so one thing to note is it does announce when the video is started, but it will not keep announcing like on the Roblox SM Max V. I think that's awesome. Now, you may see a little light indicator right there. There's actually a setting where you can either have it announce the video going or you can have the little light, which is awesome. Uh, Roblox, take note of that. All right, so here's a look at the interface here. You can see myself, I'm just sitting here uh, recording with my tripod, I'm on my jazz there. Now, in the top left corner is these little dots and the map of your floor plan. This is basically, I preset these little dots and this is the video home patrolling feature. So if you enable that feature, the robot will go to those certain uh, points of interest and kind of search your home. And what's interesting, it's all random, so the robot will randomly go to his points each time. It's not the same path, which is pretty cool. Okay, so um, off to the top there, we have this little icon. Like I said before, unlike the Roblox version where it constantly announces that it's video recording, you can actually turn that off. You can either do the voice reminder or the light reminder. I prefer the light reminder, it's very handy. Now, you do have the option to go into settings. Um, you can uh, schedule a patrol at a certain time. So for example, maybe you leave work at 9 a.m., but you want to check the house at 11, you have that option. And you can repeat uh, certain times of the day, which is pretty handy. Now, Roblox does not have that feature, so maybe they'll add the home patrolling feature. Now, I know, I know uh, this may be a little invasive on privacy, so if you're concerned about that, you do have the option to turn that off. So no video recording or picture taking is done on the robot. And also, Ecovast does disclose that they try to do the best to encrypt the data and do all the security protocols. Not sure exactly what they do, but you can research that. But I'm pretty sure they're honest and will try not to disclose any privacy information, hopefully. Or they probably won't be in business for long if they have too many uh, complaints. Okay, so what's interesting, you can actually take pictures. So this robot does uh, snapshot pictures, which is kind of interesting. So it did take a picture today. Uh, wow, I look beautiful. That's probably the best picture of myself. And you can delete the picture. Yeah, let's delete that so in case it doesn't get leaked to the internet. Okay, you can see there's a bunch of uh, pictures there. Now, you can record the video as well. Uh, it records directly to the device that you're streaming with. And of course, you can take another picture. Um, now, down below is some additional settings. Arrival on command allows you to actually tell the robot to go to a specific area in the map. So I can tell it to go to the bedroom, go to the living room, and it will just go there. Kind of like a point of interest. You also have home patrol. Uh, like I said, it will actually go out and patrol your home. Um, you also have video calling. With this, uh, you just have audio calling, but no video calling on the robot. You can see the feedback. It works better when there's not two devices uh, near each other. Okay, and last, if the robot's out, you can tell it to go back to its docking station. Now, personally, I actually think Ecovac's uh, implementation of the video features is better than the Roblox. Uh, I really like the home patrol feature. And of course, being able to uh, have it snap uh, take pictures throughout your home this is a nice feature. But again, if you're worried about privacy, you might want to turn those features off. A quick look at the application. I know this video was kind of long, but there's a lot of features to go over. So thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions about the application, give me uh, a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. I usually try to research these products and I have a pretty strong knowledge of what to look for. All right. So like and subscribe to my uh, video. Yeah, I don't have any animation. I just 
give my thumbs up there and uh, have a great rest of the day. Catch you later. See you next time. Adios. I'm just going to wave to myself. This is really sad. All right, bye.